so here you are. I'm gonna do a test drive with the new rear view camera dash cam. So as you can see, you haven't even put the key in the ignition yet, and it has already turned on. If you'll notice, it's got the um, yellow flashing light. That means it's recording a locked video right now. So basically what I've done is I've activated parking monitoring mode. So basically if the car uh, gets struck or you know somebody hits it or you open up the door because it, it's all sensor, um, this starts recording. The whole system starts recording. So. It's still recording. All you gotta do is, if you wanna just do standard recording, there you go. So here's the rear view camera. Again, I can adjust the angle of the rear view camera, the backup camera. We're gonna take this baby for a spin, see what happens. Okay, so we're going in reverse. And as you can see, those little guidelines pop up. So it's gonna be pretty fun back up here. You can see everything really well. Very sunny today, that's why I chose today to do this because I wanted to show you the secret to getting rid of the glare in the glass. This is always fun to drive with one hand. So, I don't know if you can tell, but there's not a whole lot of glare. The reason why there was glare the first time I took this out is because I had, <laughs> I had the mirror like that. So if you do this, the glare basically goes away. It's a little bit of a reflection there, but um, to the naked eye, it looks really good, and I like it a lot. So, going right at the center right now. Got the visor down, so it does block a little bit of the rearview mirror, but not the <laughs> most important part of it. Just more towards the right. This mirror is really big. It's probably one of the biggest ones out there. It's a 12 inch mirror. Um, I looked at anywhere from, I think it was 9.8 inches to 12 inches. And I went with the largest one, mainly because I was thinking if I were to use it as a rear view mirror, it would help a lot with visibility. But if you're just gonna use the rear view camera as your rear view mirror any size is going to work i mean you don't need a, a, a larger one unless that's what you want but you could use one that's about the same size as the stock and be okay so i don't know that you get a, a much of a benefit out of it maybe for the delorean you're going to want to stick with a smaller mirror because that's what the car came with originally. Additionally, uh, they do have the visor. It doesn't hit it or anything, but it definitely um, overlaps it a little bit. So here we are. You can go through the different cameras. Front camera, rear view camera. Here's the front, side by side, and rear, so. ever since I figured out that the glare is really a direct result of the angle of the mirror it made a big difference because you really could move this mirror around uh, in any direction you're still gonna get the same exact view because it's a, coming off of a camera in the back so.
pretty good even with all the sun out. There's hardly any glare. I've been using this for a while and I really like it. So I really recommend this for the DeLorean. Like I said, you don't have to get the biggest one out there. It really is not gonna make much of a difference, I don't think. I might even uh, move this to a different vehicle and get a smaller one. We'll have to see, because I wanna put this in my other cars too, my trucks. you <laughs> shut the car off goodbye and that's the video hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for watching